So I'm out in the barn, and for the last week or so, I've been noticing more and more moths out here. And I don't know where they've come from, what they rode in on, but they're really annoying. So, I bought some moth traps. This is the moth trap right here. Uh, I came out last night and ran on the treadmill, because I need to get back in shape. The basketball's starting. <clears throat> so, I put this out, I just put one out because I wanted to see how it would work. And, you guys can see that. This is probably nine and a half hours worth of sitting out. Worked pretty well. So I'm gonna throw some more of these out. I feel like there's moths all over me now. I'm gonna put some more of these out, see if I can start catching most of these moths. In case anyone is interested, these are the Catchmaster Pantry Pest Moth Traps. Let me show you how to put them together. So the instructions aren't the best, but it comes like this. And, I don't know if you guys can see this, there's a, a piece of wax paper right there, see that? So you take the wax paper off, like that, and then it's sticky. <clears throat> so, sticky side, then the bait is in here. And unfortunately they don't make a good way to open this up. I don't know if you can see that red square in there, that's the bait. I'm going to open this up and then I'll show you. Okay. So here's the bait right here. It's just a little red square. And I can't smell anything on it. <clears throat> See where it says place right here? You place the bait right there. Just like that. Like that. Then there's perforations here and here. All you do is fold it on the perforation like that. Fold it on the perforation like that. And then this comes right through here. Like that. Sticky side in. Baits in the middle, and you're good to go. I'm gonna make a couple, make up a couple of these and put them around the barn. In case you thought I was kidding about the moths, I don't know if you guys can see them. Are they showing up on there? No, no, they're gone. But I put these out earlier today, right? You guys see in there? Nuts, man, it's nuts. Look at this one. Holy smokes. Well, I would say these traps are effective. This one's got by far the most. This is the one that I put out last night. And there's this one. I already showed you the one over on the refrigerator. And then there's this one. This one maybe needs a new location. Okay, I wanted to do a little update on the moth traps that I had set out. So, here's one right here. See, it's caught a ton of moths. Here's one <clears throat> right here. Ton of moths caught. Where do I have other ones? Here's one right here. A ton of moths caught. All of these moths were in our barn. <clears throat> Here's one. And I think this is maybe four days. Here's one. And they just keep on catching them too. The moths keep on coming. Here's one. So I'm actually going to set out a few more right now because I can see some moths up in the like the corners of the ceiling. But I have to say, it used to be I'd walk into the barn and moths would there'd be like a cloud of moths flying around. That doesn't happen anymore. So the traps are working. I'm going to set a few more out, see if we can nip this problem in the butt. Okay, so I wanted to do one last video update. Uh, I'm wearing the same shirt as earlier in the video, but it's like a week and a half later. Um, so I'm going to show you. Look at all of those. There's one. There's two. And they're still catching them. If you look, like there's a moth in there that just got caught and is still kind of flapping its wings. Number three. Number four. This one I just moved from a different location, so this one doesn't have as many, but I fully expect that one to start catching a bunch. <clears throat> so this is six. I don't know if you guys can see that one over there. See that one right there? Seven. And they came in even packages. I don't know where number eight is. It may have gotten moved when my parents were organizing the barn. 
So, lots of moths caught. And honestly, I don't see any moths anymore. So, ringing endorsement for these traps. They are great. I've still got a couple more of them. Um, once these ones seem like they're done and that they're not catching anymore, I'll probably just put one out someplace just to catch them because they'll probably get in from outside or whatever. And these things really work. And it'll let me know if I've got a moth problem. So, can't, you know, I can't recommend them more. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments.